happy Monday, everyone. It is another Monday here in Nebraska, and that means for Kid Glove, it is another installment of our Marketing Monday where we share tips and tricks with you uh, based on our areas of focus. And my name is Katherine Warren. I am COO here at Kid Glove, and I am also the account director in charge of our social impact clients. And so those are a lot of grant funded uh, public and behavioral health organizations, as well as organizations that are making an impact in the community. And so today I wanted to share with you some tips specific to our friends in those social impact agencies. However, I think these are tips that will be relevant to just about any field that you're in right now and the number one piece of advice I'd like to share today is how important it is to connect with like-minded people in your community that can help you and this is fresh on my mind because I recently attended a conference for B corporations and Kid Glove is proud to be one of a handful of B corporations here in Nebraska and B corporations are certified corporations were certified by a third party that we are using business as a force for good. So we exist in this world, not just to make a profit, but to do good in the world. So I went to a conference uh, in Colorado with some regional B Corps that are all like-minded people doing the same thing. Lots of different types of businesses, even you know, biz to, business to business, business to consumer, so lots of different types of businesses, but we all had this common thread of um, having this B Corp certification. And for those that don't know, it's a, it's a long and arduous process, but a wonderful process to really dig deep into um, how your company supports the world for good. And so at this conference, Boy, did I learn a lot. Boy, did I make some great connections. But what I walked away with for our social impact agencies is the fact that now more than ever, it is so important to connect with like-minded people in your community. And I think that is especially important for social impact agencies because there are so many different areas that you specialize in where people around you might have valuable tips or you know, how did we structure this training or how did we get the word out about this program that we're offering or how did we hire people to help facilitate our program? So having that hive mind now, especially post COVID, I think is just so important to our community to really stay on top of what's working best out in the world for our social impact agencies. So number one, I just want to remind you how important it is to connect online, offline, however it is, uh, making time for those connections, which I know is a challenge um, in, our, in our social impact community as well, because you probably just don't want wear one hat. You probably wear about 10 hats in your agency. So making the time and understanding the value of that time to stay connected to like-minded individuals, I think is so important. And then how do you maximize this time when you are connecting with those like-minded individuals? I have three tips for you on that. Number one is learn. And what I mean by that is go to your event or go to the place where you're going to find these like-minded people with learning in mind. So what I would encourage you to do is prior to going to a, a networking event or a learning opportunity, Decide on the number one pain point of your social impact agency. What's the number one thing you're trying to solve right now? Is it hiring? Is it marketing your programs? Is it how you're facilitating your programs? Go to the event with that question in mind and then ask every single person that you meet that very same question and see where it takes you. You may get a lot of great ideas. You may hear a lot of the same thing over and over again. And if you hear a lot of the same thing, that probably means it's something that's working, right? Or maybe you get a lot of different and diverse ideas. So going into any networking opportunity with learning in mind, I think is very key. Uh, number two, 
to the list here is to keep talking. So once you have met these people, once you have learned all there is to learn from these people, make sure that that event is not the last time that you talk to them. So I would encourage you to link in or connect in whichever way makes the most sense to you uh, to everyone that you meet and then continue the conversation at least twice per year. So you find an interesting article that might help people that are like-minded with you. You can send the same thing to multiple people, or maybe you learned something from another person at the event that you just know the network that you built from that event would appreciate hearing about. Or maybe you see something in the news that impacts one of the people that you met. So make a commitment to continue the conversation and to keep talking after the event by at least a twice a year um, comment or connection or sharing with that person. And then last but certainly not least, share with others. So again, if you go to this event, you have your key question in mind, you're learning all these great things and all these different ways to approach that question, make sure that the other people that you meet know all this great information that you learned. So if you got a great nugget from one person, share that information with other people that you learned. Share amongst your group. So that is how, in a world post-COVID, we can really maximize these connections. We have less opportunities. We are wearing a million hats. So when we get those opportunities to connect and to understand and remember the value of those connections, make sure that you're coming to it with a learning mind, that you're sharing what you learn, and that you're continuing the conversation beyond the networking event. That's what I have to share with you today. If you'd like more information on our uh, social impact offerings, you can visit our website at kidglove.com slash social impact. And with that, I will thank you very much for your time for today and wish you a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.